Serving K-12 teachers and personnel in Ohio with House Bill 99 has been a point of contention amongst parents and community members. And depending on who you ask, the conversation comes down to one issue, how those teachers are trained. Well, I spoke with an educational leader along with the governor about how the process of training will work. In a different time, the responsibility of a teacher was and still is to mold and shape the lives of future generations. But times aren't as simpler these days. We don't believe that it makes sense to have teachers who already have a full-time responsibility in educating children to do a second critical job, and that has served as armed security personnel. That's Ohio Education Association President Scott DeMauro speaking about House Bill 99, which allows school districts to arm teachers or school workers on campus. Out of the 600 school districts, only 46 requested training. Nine are in our area, and the majority are rural. In his recent trip to Northeast Ohio, Governor Mike DeWine spoke on how those districts might benefit. You might have a, a big county and they've got two deputies or three deputies who are out and the school may be at one end and just so happens when there's something happens that the de nearest deputy is 20 minutes away. Demaro disagrees. You've got school districts who are very rural here in Ohio. Um, they may not have a local police force. Their sheriff's department may handle that. What's the argument there to say, you know what, that may be the only exception? If districts uh, make an effort to try to build those relationships with those law local law enforcement agencies. I think there are lots of opportunities to do this in a way that doesn't take a shortcut. The shortcut tomorrow is speaking about is with training. HB 99 requires a minimum of 24 hours training and eight hours of requalification training. The guidelines set by the Ohio School Safety Center breaks down those hours this way. 15 hours of gun training, four hours of quote scenario based training, a one hour written test and two hours of qualification of course of fire. The other two hours are split into eight different courses at 15 minutes each. With the 24 hours, is that the deal breaker? Do, do, do those hours need to increase? If you're going to do it, let's make sure that there is at least uh, in order to be responsible, at least a minimum level of training to ensure that everybody is safe. I made the decision every every person, teacher who gets the training has to have 24 hours. They have to have additional training every single year to, to keep to keep that up. Now, as of now, no schools in Cuyahoga or Summit County, including CMSD and Akron Public Schools, are participating in the HB 99 program. Now for a list of area schools that submitted rosters to arm their staff members, you can go right now to cleveland19.com.